In this video, I'll show you how to add furniture and decorations to your house model in SketchUp. As you can see, I've already started to decorate uh, one room in my model house. I've added a couch, a chair, a TV mounted on the wall, a plant and some pictures on oh, a lamp. Uh, so I've added all those things and I brought Helen inside so she could sort of enjoy the room. Uh, what we'll do is we'll take a look at another room. Maybe we'll come by this bedroom over here on the other side. Let's go through the process of adding some uh, furniture here in this bedroom so you can see how I did it. Uh, first, we need to go to our uh, 3D warehouse. So we're going to click over here on Components. It says Search 3D Warehouse. Uh, it's a bedroom, so let's start with a bed. You can type in what it is you want to search for and click Enter or Search here. And you'll see that we have some search results coming up for bed. Now, bed is pretty uh, broad, right? You could probably be a little more specific with exactly what kind of bed, or bunk bed, or king size bed, or something, I suppose. Uh, but we got some options. And also, it's not just the options you see here, because at the bottom you'll see page one of 2,151. So there's lots of choices here. If we search bed, I'm going to click through a couple. Um, and there's a couple things I'd like you to think about. One is uh, the look of the bed. Does this bed look like the sort of bed you'd like in your house? But also, uh, watch under here in this sort of gray uh, highlight here, it says the size uh, in terms of the, the amount of memory it will take. We want to be careful not to load our house up with a, a whole bunch of large models, because that's going to slow it down, make the thing crawl. Um, so try to keep them, you know, to maybe a couple megabytes or something tops if you can. Uh, try not to get too big here. So let's, let's go with this bed. We'll see what it looks like. I'm going to click it. And you'll see it says downloading model inserting model and in just a second that box is going to go away we'll give it a second here and now the bed is sort of following my cursor you see i've got the move tool now the bed is following my cursor around that's pretty big in this room we'll try it out just to just to take a look so i'm going to find a spot here and click and now that the bed is in that is a big bed I can move around, I can see it's in the space. And uh, if I want to keep that there, for now let's go with it, we'll, we'll keep it. Uh, I still have the move tool. And there's a, there's a couple tips for you for moving furniture around, or whatever it is that you download, uh, that I think are pretty important for you to, to be able to do this well. Uh, first, when you're going to move something, you'll click on it with the move tool once. So I just clicked and I let the mouse button go. If I want to move it in a direction, try to move only in one direction at a time. So right now you see the red axis is highlighted. It says on red axis. So I'm just sort of sliding it across the floor in that red axis direction. Um, I could also go this way. Uh, so I'm highlighting the green axis. Or maybe I want to come sort of this way on the green axis, right? So again, I'm sliding it across the floor in the green direction. Right now, I actually want to go in the red direction, so I'm just going to bring it back here. The blue direction, you might remember, is vertical, up and down. So the blue direction would come in handy if we want to put a TV higher or lower on the wall, or if when you bring the bed in, let's see if, if ours is good. Ours looks pretty good. But if when we bring the bed in, it happens to be floating in the air, uh, that might happen to your model. So we would use the blue direction for that. Uh, next tip is this bed doesn't just have to stay in this direction, right? Uh, we can rotate this around. You might find a rotate tool in here somewhere, but, but don't use that. Instead, stay on the move tool. So right now you'll see I'm still on the move tool. And as I hover over uh, this sort of blue boundary box uh, around this model, you'll see I have these little red sort of plus sign handles here. And if I hover over one of those, You'll see now I've got this rotate tool indicator showing up. I've got the cursor that shows the, the two arrows going around. If I click and hold and drag, I can actually rotate that bed around to face the way that I'd like it to face. 
I'll know that it's straight. You see that red highlight there on the guideline? I know that this is straight uh, along with that red axis, so I'm going to let it go. And if I change my view, I can sort of check how is this lined up in the room. It looks like I've got to bring this over to this front wall a little bit more, so I'm going to drag this a little in the blue direction. And click, and let's sort of keep it there. All right, how do I get rid of the blue bounding box? Uh, really, if you just click away. So I'm going to click back on the regular cursor. I'm going to click away. And there, now it's in the space. And I have my bed. Okay, not bad. It's, it's, uh, it's a little too big. Um, but for the purposes of this, um, let's just keep going here. What's something else that should be in the bedroom? Uh, maybe... I don't even think I have room for a nightstand. Night. Stand. Okay, what sort of a nightstand might look good with this gigantic bed? Ah, does that look good? Let's try this one. I see it's pretty small. I'll click it. That loaded really quickly. I'll click to put it into the room. Might actually work out. A lot of what you do here is going to be changing your view around to get to a good view from which to move your models. Remember, use the move tool. I'll click, let that mouse button go, and now it'll follow me as I drag the mouse. So I'm going to move in one direction first. I just went into the wall a little bit. You see how that blue boundary box cuts off? So I'm going to click this and bring it back just a little bit. Right about there. And let's rotate this. There it is. There's the front. To where we're in line with that green axis. There we go. Let it go. And we'll move this back. I'm going to change my view a little bit. Can't go quite far enough. And move it back a little more. Now, honestly, that looks a little small. And I'm thinking about this bed here. Maybe I can show you one more little trick. It seems like that bed is just a little big. So here's another trick. If you get a model that is just a bit, <laughs> or maybe really, really too big or too small, you can scale the model. So if I click on that, and I come over here to move, right, I get these three tools that fly out, so it's not just move, there's a couple others. This bottom one is scale. Click scale. Now you see these green handles all around? Grab a corner handle, not a middle one or something, that's gonna stretch it funny. But if you grab a corner handle, you can actually rescale if this is to make um, a couch you download smaller because it comes out way too big or, you know, something like that. We can scale it down a little, and that might help everything uh, fit a little better in your house. Some of these models that you'll see on the 3D Warehouse are not uh, drawn exactly to scale, so some of them will be a bit big or a bit small, and you can uh, change the scale as you need to. Okay, one more example here. Because on the TV, there's a, there's a couple things that'll be handy here. Uh, what I did to search this TV is I searched LED TV. And you'll see it's this one right here. Actually, it says TV, TV LED. Right, I clicked it. Brought the model in. But you'll see that when the TV comes in, it's sort of facing the wrong way through the wall that I want to put it on. So I showed you this before. You can, with the Move tool active. You can hover over one edge, even if it's kind of thin. You see how thin that top uh, face is here? But we can still hover over it. Might have to zoom in. Click and drag. So I can still get that TV to be lined up with the wall that I'd like it to be lined up with. Get it to the red axis and let it go. All right. But here's a uh, situation where we're going to have to move try on all, th all three axes, right? So I'm going to bring it up with the blue axis. I'm keeping it highlighted blue, blue, blue. 
And now it jumped because it thinks sometimes that I want to go to that floor in there. So if I move my mouse just a little bit, I can get it back to the blue. So that's something to be careful of. Try to make sure you're keeping it highlighted blue. Uh, now I'm going to bring it over in the red direction. Right, to get it over to the wall. Something about like that. And I can see I've got some space here to go in the green direction uh, to get it to the wall. So I'm going to click, start moving. And again, sometimes it's going to jump because it doesn't know if you're trying to point to some other line or something like that. But on something here, you're just going to keep moving until that blue line on that bounding box there, until the blue line starts to disappear, right? So actually, it seems like maybe this TV that I had set up earlier uh, was a little too far away from the wall. So I'll have to fix that. Okay, so you can see how that goes. Um, why is this TV a little bigger? Again, I use the scale tool. So move, scale. I figured I kind of want a, a bigger TV. So I scaled that up a little bit. All right, I'll hit the cursor. And let's actually, let's just keep that TV and I'll, I'll get rid of this other one that we had. See if I can click over to it and delete. All right, and there we go. Uh, so you've seen here how to add some furniture from the 3D warehouse into your SketchUp house model. At this point, take your time, find some models, start placing them around the house, and don't forget to save your work as you go. All right, have fun. See you in the next video.